Hello YouTube fans, bit in the dark today but why not, why not with this movie, this movie being Enemy Minds, that's right, Enemy Minds, died my mate, Effie James Jr. Now I remember reviewing two of these films, one I love and one I fucking spice, that being I, Iron Eagle and the one being I, Iron Eagle 2, which I think is a piece of shit. This on the other hand is not a piece of shit. Enemy Minds, shot in 1985, we're going to go with Enemy Minds. Now, you've got another one of my favourite actors, that being Tevin Tade. I love Tevin Tade, I remember him in one film I remember being Team State, and I also did one Gold Dwarfs 3 in 3D. But, funny thing was, every time Junior I met him in Dwarfs 3, he played the mayor in that. And in this, is in this film with him as well, being Enemy Minds. It's a bit like um, Star Wars meets the enemy. And it kind of reminds me of an episode of Battle Star Ship Tyranctor, 1980. The very last story was where Starbuck was standing, he meets a Scion, and big robots with the fussy eyes. And at first they're enemies, but then they've got to work to death off, because they're standing on, a, on an alien planet. It kind of reminds me of that, and it also reminds me of another film with um, Lee Majors. If I remember the actor Lee Majors, where he was basically on an island. It was based on the olden times. He, meet, he meets a Vietnamese soldier and enemy, and they've got to work to death off. It kind of reminds me of that, because it's based on the future, right? Based on the future. And basically, the final round, the having fights with aliens, um, I can't remember the garden now, pikes or something, and um, him and his mate trash on this unknown planet, his mate dies, long below, Devin Jade meets one of these things called the pikes. First they're going to kill one another, but they realise they can't, because they're standing on an unknown planet. So it's like enemy having to work to death or these people have been having a war, fights and so on for like centuries and now got on a team up and worked to death or. Now you can definitely see a budget in this film. You can definitely see a budget in this film. The only downer was it wasn't a success. It's now it over the days, it's now a total classic and blah blah blah. But it wasn't a success because people thought, oh, it's not like Star Wars, there's no laser ships, there's no fucking buckle ships, there's no fucking lightsabers. People thought it was going to be like that, and it wasn't. It's more of a story piece. But you can definitely see the budget, and people don't want to know who the alien die is. That is Effie James Jr., who wear the makeup and everything, and the makeup is just top knots. I love the set, I love the fact it's on an alien planet, and so on. Right? And there's bits in it where they're insulting one another. There's a bit where it says, You and your Mickey Mouse. Because at the first, the pike doesn't know how to speak. And Jeffy Tade teaches him. There's a funny bit in it where he says the word, Shit. <laughs> so it starts funny in that. And there's a bit in it where Jeffy Tade falls and his alien thing slams his spike on his leg. But our mate, being Jeffy James Jr., comes to the rescue. Kills the alien, but it definitely goes through him that big. It really does look painful. It wraps his tentacle on Tiffy Tade's leg. Really looks painful. But all the way through the film, they start hating one another, but then they realise they've got to work to death for. There's a bit where Tiffy Tade's got to leave, and he actually cries. That's right, the pike actually cries. I think it was called a pike. I know it had a different type of name. And you get an emotion with them. At first they hate one another, they're trying to kill one another, but then halfway through the film, they've got to re realise they've got to get along, otherwise they're going to die. They're about to live on a, a, an island on your sod. But the pipe, believe it or not, has two hormones, meaning it can become pregnant. Like, imagine me being pregnant. They can get a male and a female of them can actually get pregnant. So, he's pregnant, this pipe, and he has... He's setting that he's off the baby, but sadly to say, every James Jr. sadly dies in this film. He dies because he dies giving birth to the baby Pike. So, Devin Tade has now got to look after this baby. And it's also been to a boy baby, you know, to a little boy. And you realise you've got other humans now, chatting in these other Pikes, and they're having them as slaves. And you've got the idea it's a couple of days later. 
the taps are the little by pike he runs to the rest to step inside but then he gets knocked unconscious they think they killed him but he isn't they're about to bury our mate step inside but he wakes up and that's when the rest of the people realise the war is now over with the pikes I mean you've got an idea it's a couple of years later so Tevin Tade wants to save his buddha, you know, the little boy raised up. So he goes in search for him, fights to their planet, has an epic fight scene, kills all the bad guys, pretty cool, saves our little mate. And it's a happy ending. He gets a reward for being Tevin Tade. He gets a reward for what he's done. He raises that boy as his own. And it's, it's, I mean, the art's on its sleeve. In my eyes, the art on this film, Enemy Mind, is on its it's on its sleeve but sadly to say the film wasn't a success people was like going mad taking I mean, it boohoos saying it's not like star wars some I mean, people thought it's gonna be like star wars and i mean there are some good action scenes in the opening yes you've got a take scene where the ships are firing a toss epic scene where lasers are firing at them all and i love it i just love it i mean it's an epic epic scene in the film it is epic you've got to see it to believe it you've got the lasers firing out you've got them blowing up and so on but then the rest of the film it's more of two people who at first the two enemies that's how i see it the two enemies want to erate the sight of one another want to fucking kill one another but they realize they've got to work to death for to survive it's like that it's like that piece Right, and to me it's like a remake of a film I remember with Lee Majors, who's no, sadly no longer with us, we all know the story. And it reminds me of that, where it was like a guy on an island, who was a soldier, he met a Taiwan Vietnamese soldier, this was in the olden times, so I'm not being racist, there were a war in that era with the Americans, and they were you no know, poor Iber, and they realised they've got to work to death for to survive. It kind of reminds me of that film, only it's futuristic, it's sci-fi. It reminds me of that. You've got an alien who hates the sight of us, but then realise they're tapped to death off. They've got to work to death off to survive. And that's what it becomes. It becomes they become becoming mates in the film. They become offensive. It is a damn good performance with Eric James Jr. Believe it or not, I cried in this more than I cried in fucking Bambi. When Bambi's mummy got shot, I never said a fucking tear. There was no tear coming out of my fucking eye. I'm hardcore on me. Believe me, I'm hardcore. When Bright Eyes died in the uh, Water You Down, when the bunny rabbit died, there was no tear coming out of my fucking eye. I'm a fucking man's man, me. But seriously, when he died, every James Jr., I was fucking having amazing fucking, fucking waterfalls coming out of my fucking eyeballs. Believe me, I was literally fucking crying in the fucking river. Because I like that character. I didn't want him to die. But then it was up to see his little boy. Again, another good performance. Two, two good performances by two good, good actors. If it's James Jr., Jeffins Jade, two, two damn good actors. And that's what I love about this film. It's sci fi, it has a good story to it. It's not this CGI shit you see nowadays. You could definitely see the money, was, and there was <coughs> a budget in this film without talking. I love it. Enemy Mind, back in 1985. If you can ever find it, look for it, search for it, jerk off over it. It's a dudden. Into them, everybody. Have a dudden.